uh, Bayani is back and here to talk about Urban Bird. Yes. Someone who has been involved with community development for more than 15 years. Let's all welcome Bayani Barsanis to talk about urban birding. Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Yeah, can, can you see my uh, presentation now? Yes, yes. It's okay, also. good. Okay, so thank you so much for waiting. Um, let's see, we, we have um, some common birds um, in the metro, in the city, and um, in the urban areas. Uh, let's see uh, which birds are these. Um, actually, there are plenty of them, but there are at least 10 common birds we, you can see in uh, the city. Uh, okay, let's start with this one, the Pacific Swallow. Okay, this is the Layang Layang in um, our local uh, language. So you just uh, have to, you know, tumingala ng konte, and then uh, you can see these uh, birds flying gracefully over the city, uh, especially uh, over bridges and fly over. So they're quite common, but since they are small, or maybe you're always in a hurry, you cannot see the, uh, them. But um, uh, these are graceful flyers, and if you notice them, um, they can. Uh, they're also nesting in uh, house eaves and uh, on buildings, uh, cup-shaped uh, nests made of mud. So there you go, your, um, um, let's say your number one um, common bird in the city, the Pacific Swallow. Okay, I'm sure everyone is uh, very familiar with the zebra dove. This is the uh, bato bato or the korokotok no, as we call them. So this, these are a small uh, ground dove with long tail and they are named uh, zebra because of the black and white stripes of its uh, upper parts and sides. And you can also there uh, see there the bluish gray face. So um, most of the time you can see them feeding on the ground or on sidewalks in residen residential areas. They only fly off when uh, you get too close or a vehicle um, passes close by. So you, um, you can hear the soft cooing, especially in the morning no, of, the, of this very uh, uh, pleasant, vibrating kurukutuk uh, given repeatedly. So that's uh, where it uh, also um, uh, derives its uh, local name. And then we have the, of course, I, I think the, um, everyone is uh, very familiar with the Eurasian tree sparrow. Maya ang tawag sa atin nito. No? Everybody calls this Maya. And, but um, we, we also call this Mayang Bahay, Mayang Simbahan. And for obvious reasons, because they are everywhere and, and they, you can always see them um, in uh, flocks like this. And if you're coming from the Visayas region, we call this Gurion. No? Okay. Um, these are very adaptable birds, so you can almost see them um, um, anywhere and even inside the malls. Yeah, they go inside the malls. Ganon sila ka uh, adaptable. And then we just call them brown bird, but uh, actually they are beautiful. Uh, if you look closely, chestnut yung kanyang forehead crown and kanyang nape. So yes, uh, I think you will not miss that anywhere. And your... Uh, okay, sorry about that. Okay, that's the. There's another uh, common bird in the city, um, always found in gardens and parks. The yellow vented bulbul. All right, um, we can um, we, we call that a pirok pirok in the Visayas also. And then, um, uh, sorry about that. Okay, that the the the, the bulbul of course. Um, you know, uh, kids. You know, usually uh, we we get we get uh, this bird gets a lot of giggles from from Filipinos, but uh, the the name bulbul comes from a Persian word for um, for a songbird, uh, um, the um, uh, the nightingale. But uh, 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 to, to us, uh, this is uh, this is uh, we call this the okay. Oh, skip keeps moving. So there you go. This is a very, very um, cheeky bird. Uh, you can see uh, uh, a, a white, a prominent white eyebrow, and it's it has a kind of mohawk, you know, yung sa barang uh, buhok niya sa crown. And then uh, if you see the the undertail uh, coverts, uh, what, what we call the vent, it's yellow. Thus, it gets its name from um, that the yellow vented bulbul. Okay. This is the. Uh, tamsi ng mga bisaya no, or pipit in general. 
Um, the olive back sunbird is also very common uh, no? in, um, in uh, the cities, in the gardens. This is the most widespread of the 16 sunbirds in the Philippines. So it is small, and you usually see this uh, feeding on flowers using its long, thin, cur curved bill. So noisy, ito, no? active, and then they fly very quickly. And um, most commonly, uh, they are mistaken for hummingbirds, but we do not we do not have hum hummingbirds in the Philippines. Hummingbirds can only be found in the Americas. So you can see there the back is olive green and um, the the under parts are lemon yellow. Uh, shown here is the male. Now, meron siyang metallic purple throat, which is absent in the female. So. Um, this is very important. This bird is very important. It has an important role in uh, the ecosystem by pollinating flowers when they sip the nectar. All right, another common bird. You will recognize this right away. This is the colored kingfisher. So uh, look at that. The, you can see right away the uh, bright turquoise blue upper parts, yeah, the wings and then the white breast and a heavy black bill. So yan, it gives away this identity agad na yun yung um, colored kingfisher. You, lo you are looking at a colored kingfisher and that's a very loud call. You know, kanina, uh, when you uh, heard that um, uh, the the sound uh, played by uh, Jelaine earlier, you uh, ganun ka kalakas ang uh, colored kingfisher. And uh, you, um, aside from fish, they also eat frogs and lizards and big insects. Huh? Um, uh, you can see them in the parks. And um, if you have uh, backyards na maraming trees, uh, you can also see them there. All right, this is another uh, common bird and a beautiful one, uh, easily recognizable by its distinctive bright yellow and uh, black plumage. And uh, if you, you can see there, it's a pinkish, reddish uh, bill. So, naga announce din ito ng very loud whistling, uh, kiao. Uh, it's also called kuliawan. So, um, Sometimes uh, it travels uh, by pair or even in small groups and flying around the canopy. So look for it, but the, although the flight is quite fast and undulating. So the, the name uh, Oriole uh, they are derives from the Oriolus, Oriolus or derives from the Latin which uh, for golden. All right. Uh, this one is another favorite uh, urban bird. Um, this is a Philippine Pied Fantail, so uh, endemic uh, po ito. Endemic means sa atin lang po makikita. And this is uh, common in uh, resident, residential areas and parks. So yung mga gardens yun din po. So this is a very showy and energetic fly catcher. So it constantly moves around treetops and rooftops. And you can hear them sing its melodious metallic call. Tapos, while singing, it is also fanning its tail. Now, I'm sure you will notice this bird. This is a very aggressive, and uh, this was, or they are observed to attack cats and dogs also. Um, mapapansin nyo yan. Uh, minsan, um, they also kind of attack people, no? uh, especially during the nesting season. A, a beautiful uh, black and white bird. So we call that Maria Capra, and in the Visayas region, the Bilad Bilad. Okay, this one is an um, uh, another common bird, and uh, this is the Asian glossy starling, Galanshang, no? commonly known as Galanshang. Now, uh, of course, right away, you can see that um, the adults are uh, all black and with a greenish uh, blue gloss. Now, pag tinamaan ng araw yan, there's a greenish blue gloss and it is a, a large and curved bill. No? Um, and then, Characterized talaga yan. You can see that uh, it has a blood red eye, so medyo nakakatakot. But uh, don't be afraid. Uh, these are very social, sociable birds, and they they go in flocks, and they nest on um, the cavities of trees. And you can you can always see them um, perched on uh, electric posts. So there's your uh, galanshang or the Asian glossy starling. Okay, and last but not the least. Um, the very beautiful Colasisi or Philippine hanging parrot. Now, this is a pretty little parrot in your gardens if you have fruiting trees. And this small, cheerful parrot is a Philippine endemic. Dito lang po yan nakikita sa atin. So you can found, 
uh, you can uh, find them in gardens and parks. They feed on flowers and fruits. No, pag fruiting trees. Ngayon, um, maraming fruiting rambutan. So watch for it sa mga fruiting rambutans. And you can also see them eating the fruits of coconuts and bananas again. So mabilis din ito lumipad, no? Uh, but it gives a sharp twittering call while perched or in flight. Um, unfortunately, uh, ito ay uh, biktima ng illegal pet trades. And uh, you can see this uh, them um, placed in... Uh, small baskets no? sold in churches and markets. So please, please do not buy from bird sellers. So Gina, that wraps up uh, the, the 10 most common um, urban birds that we see around. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much. Yanni uh, Barsenas, who talked about the most common urban birds that you can find. 